<laughs> what is going on guys, my name is the Mega Muzzle Man, as hopefully a few of you guys know by now, and there is some guy mowing out in my street in the pouring rain, so I don't know what the hell he's doing, but hopefully you guys can't hear him in the mic. But first off, I'd really like to thank you guys for all the support you've given me on my first video. It's really just outstanding how much of a good response I got, and I feel like you give kind of an Oscars-style acceptance speech, but in all seriousness, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I promise not to let you down for awesome videos to come in the future, but so after my first video, I also feel like I've broken the ice a little with you guys. I'm not just some weirdo or... I still am a weirdo, but not just some weirdo talking to his computer. Now I've got a group of awesome subs, I, even though 15 or so isn't heaps. It's seriously a matter of quality over quantity with you guys. I don't care if some random trick shot has 10,000 more subs than me, because, well, his subs are a bunch of foul-mouthed 11-year-old faggots, and you guys are the best subs anyone can ask for. But as I was saying before I got <laughs> emotional on you guys, that I feel like I've broken the ice a little with you guys, and now that I'm not just talking to my computer, it's... We're just two bros of, you know, hanging around, talking about video games, but enough of that heart to heart man to man crap, let's get on to the gameplay. I'm using the G36 for some reason, I'm using the silencer and red dot, a little bit of a weird setup, but this gameplay was only about a week after the game came out, so, you know, in those early days, people were still kind of experimenting with different setups, and it certainly isn't a bad setup, you just usually don't see it very much these days, and to talk on the gun for me, like, I kind of regard the G36 as probably the most highly underrated gun in Modern for Free. It really reminds me of the Black Ops AK, not the Modern for Free AK, no, 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 we're never talking about that, but it kind Kind of reminds me of the Black Ops AK. It has pretty high recoil, but it's really predictable recoil. Like it just goes straight up. So I guess that kind of puts people off. But with a little downward pressure on the stick, you can kind of turn it into a fucking death laser. But that's just a little bit about the G36. And so as you can see from the title, I may or may not get a mob this game. We'll just have to uh, stick around and wait and see. But the thing I like about the mob in this game, I like Modern Warfare 2 because the mob is always on for everyone. I don't feel like I'm losing a kill streak slot in it. And I think I speak for a lot of people when saying when I put the nuke on in Modern Warfare 2 and then I don't get the nuke in that coming game <laughs> I said coming but okay stay on track um when I don't get the nuke that coming game I, I feel like crap even though I'm not no I'm not good enough to get the nuke every game I, I feel really bummed out and then I'll start camping then I get noob tube then I rage quit and then I go you know shoot up a police department the usual but that's just a couple things I like about the mob and I realize this gameplay is a little campy and I can assure you I used to be playing like a crazy motherfucker fucker running around with a shotgun, but I think I've gotten about three of, no, four or five mobs in this game, and for some reason, Robert Bowling strikes again, and Theater Mode only recorded this one, but I won't start on Infinity Ward ranting, because I won't stop until my lungs are dry. If I had to upload this mob, and honestly, I'm not dropping mobs every game, like Beer Crads or Excal, so honestly, you have to take what I can get, and I haven't been playing much, but I've jumped back on recently, and hopefully I can get a few more mobs for you guys, and I feel like I should now give some tips on the mob, um, unlike Monof 2, there's not much to tell about the mob, just run the specials for the specialist bonus, don't run around like a chicken with the head cut off and play defensively when you get on a high streak. Nope. The most important thing is don't try to, it's retarded as just sounds, don't try to go for mobs. I know that sounds really silly, but if you go into a game just before the game starts and say to yourself, oh, I'm going to get a mob this game, it's just going to lead to frustration. And as I said before, it's just going to be, you know, no fun for anyone. You're just going to get really bummed out and frustrated. <laughs> <coughs> Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> But, um, it's just a few things on the mob, and I think I got the mob just then in the gameplay, so I might wrap this up a little bit. I'm sorry for the bad mic quality. I'm looking to get a new one, but, you know, I am a homeless guy using internet cafes and shopping centers to post these videos, so I'm a little tight for money, but I should have a new video next week, and I've also found something that I think you guys will really like. It's something really awesome to make hilarious trolling videos with, but that is a tale for next week. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss it, and also give this video a like if you liked it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.